hi hope you guys are doing well so today we'll be making this magic light spell appearing on ball animation so for first of all before we get started please subscribe to my channel it's a small channel and it won't cost you anything my goal is to get 1000 subscribers by the mid of this year thanks all you'll actually need to actually download a magic spell symbol from uh, google the requirement is that uh, the spell should be darker in color and the background should be either transparent or should be like a uh, have a white background at least uh, secondly if you want the vault texture in the tutorial you can actually just go and head and get it from freestylize.com it's actually completely free uh, free so now we'll actually head on to escape after downloading our uh, sp spell symbol so when you have your sp spell symbol ex uh, imported inside uh, inkscape you can go ahead and click path trace bitmap and um, you can actually set the setting to 0 0.7 or 8 and then click on apply you'll have a bitmap path that will be in black in color after that you can actually go ahead and change its color to anything you want and finally you can actually export it and make sure that when uh, while exporting you set the settings to instead of uh, SVG you set the settings to PNG so that it's a uh, transparent background. Now that our magic symbol is uh, completed let's just head over to Blender. So in Blender first of all we'll actually need to add in a uh, cube. I'll just change its scale from uh, in the x-axis to 10 and z to 5 so give it sort of a wall like feel and click on control a and apply scale and <coughs> I'll just move it like um, about here so that it's in the center of the camera so now we'll actually give it just some basic material go into the shading tab and for this I'll just give it a simple sorry shift a image texture plug it in and now I'll just navigate to where I have the textures for the ball I'll just keep the basic texture of our over here and um, just go into UV editing and instead of um, this proper UV that is, that is here um, uh, the wall isn't the main focus the main focus is the spell so I'll just uh, take for this tutorial use a shortcut I'll click on U project from U and remember it has to be from different URLs and as you can see and this is actually wrong uh, we actually want it to be different so again I'll do it U project from U should be from front, front view and then I'll just scale it like about here and then move it so now let's go back into the shading tab once we have our all texture let's just duplicate this image texture um, and we'll actually need to navigate to the uh, where we have our um, magic symbol so move it to plug it into the animation shader and we actually don't want this uh, a repeating pattern we want it to be uh, kept so we only are getting one of this and the emission strength should be like um, let's just say go 15 also let's just add in a huge saturation node now I think 1.5 would be great in the um, preview video I actually had the value set to 2 so if you actually like that you can actually go with that too also and turn on um, bloom and ambient inclusion if you want but I don't think we'll be needing that so turn off the ambient inclusion we'll just need bloom also for the material um, okay so um, for the next step we'll just go, go back to our editing tab again and uh, we actually want it to move it, move it so that um, it's uh, it actually is only in the camera so I'll just scale it again just to make, it sh make sure that it's in the center of the camera now let's head over to the shading tab and now we can actually get started on the first half of this tutorial so um, let's just add in a sh the mix shader and in the mix shader um, we'll actually take just these two and move it on this side we'll have the hue saturation point inside it and then we'll add in a shader to RBG node plug the mix shader inside the shader to RBG node and then the color into the emission shader then also shift A transparent BSDF into the uh, second part of the shader now we'll also be needing a, a color ramp shift a color ramp plug the color into the factor and instead of linear we'll go with constant 
then we'll just swap these two for now. Also, we'll be needing uh, let's just click on Control D and add in a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. Move these two in the back and then um, add in a shift a separate x y z node and then plug the vector into the vector and then the uh, y into the y of the color ramp now when you move it like this you can actually see the symbol is appearing and disappearing this is the controller uh, for the symbol appearing disappearing <coughs> so now for the um, other flickery effect that we add in it so um, for the flickery effect first of all just uh, go ahead and add shift a mesh plane and we'll also create a new material for this but I already have it so you'll just need it to be um, let me just hide the cube so that you can see it clearly it, for this material you'll actually need to have a blend mode of, uh, of uh, blend mode of sorry blend mode of alpha clip and shadow mode to be none for this material specifically and um, in the shading tab you can adjust uh, this material is pretty simple it's just uh, the light uh, the light texture image that we had from the transformer background into the plug into a saturation node into the emission shader and then the alpha into the alpha of the principal BSTF. Pretty simple, straightforward. So let's get back to our layout and I'll just make our uh, wall reappear. And um, let's just clip our wall and go into the shading and move this to about the center to 0 0.5 so it's half uh, invisible, uh, visible for us now. Um, now we'll actually just select our plane and from the top view click on 7 to go into top view and make sure that um, your snapping is on gy to move it about to the this the, the where basically um, this dot the origin of the plane should be right at the edge of the um, of the wall this will actually make us the animation part easier so now just move it about the same place as the center almost the same or it could be same um, and let's just start scaling it so that this edge of the uh, transparent image and the wall should be almost the same okay so um, now I'll just uh, go and tab into edit mode right click subdivide and make the subdivision like 10 you can actually add more if you want to but I think 10 is good enough then we'll go into the modifier types, add modifier, displace modifier and set setting new strength should be 0 0.1 and in the texture setting instead of image movie we'll just go with um, noise you can actually go with something else as well but I think noise or maybe clouds you can uh, now let's get back to the modifier type um, we actually don't want it to be a local coordinate we actually want it to be objects now let's just head back to the uh, modifier tab of the um, image plane we'll add in a uh, shift a mesh uh, empty plane axis because we actually want this movement of the uh, displacement to be randomized and we'll also give it a solidify modifier and give maybe offset to zero and the thickness to something like 0 0.03 or something like that uh, now let's just select our empty over timeline above and we'll just change it to the graph editor on the rotation of the empty I'll just click on I and um, on the mod click on the modifiers we'll give it a noise modifier now I think all three of these have the noise modifier so for all three of these I'll just uh, change the strength or oh, change uh, change the offset I actually don't need to change the strength I think the base strength will be fine but just in case now let's just get back to our timeline it will randomly just uh, um, if I just play, click the plane button you can actually see the empty is randomly moving and if I select this and then um, change this is, uh, from light to um, the object offset from light to the empty you can actually see the flickering effect happening on the plane as well we actually want this so let's just get back into the camera tab and um, this is going to be a 2 minute second animation so on fr from frame 1 to like frame 49 it's going to be 24 frames per second so on frame 25 it's the center point and um, for the position of the um, image plane let's just click on the uh, eye to give it a to give it a keyframe and then on frame 1 
I'll just not click on again and dz and and move it about the same point at starting point as the um, simple starting point and then click on gy to make sure that just the tip is touching the um, plane so I'll click on I again to add a keyframe and when we actually move it around it will be like so and on the end frame like frame 49 uh, let's just go back into shading tab and click on the wall I'll just change this to while well, having this one's black slider selected I'll change this to 0 0.002 so it's completely finished and I'll also add a keyframe because we're going to be needing it as well anyway so let's just add a keyframe over here I and on the back into the layout select the image plane and then G and Z to make it sure that it's again in the tip and then GY to move it about the same place as the tip and then click on I to add the keyframe and then to click right right click on the um, timeline click on interpolation and then linear also let's just select the uh, wall again and in the shading tab uh, in the uh, frame one go into shading and then move this one back to okay zero and click on I as well now um, let's just add in a timeline just to change the interpolation mode for this timeline as well I'll just move it like over here and timeline right click interpolation mode linear now when I go back to my camera click the play button as you can see it actually starts appearing obviously um, you can actually change it how you like maybe we should just um, bump up the strength of this uh, displacement modifier to something like 0 0.2 or maybe even 0 0.3 if you actually want to so that um, it actually looks more fl flickery yeah this looks a lot better in my opinion if you found this video helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel and watch for another one of my videos as that's how the youtube algorithm works it's a small channel and it won't cost you anything thanks and i'll see you in the next video